I mean, Bomani Dakari, I mean, son, you've been one of the most privileged people in our family. <laughs> and that's because my mother and my father worked very hard to build a future for us from Jamaica to uh, here, Brooklyn, New York. And uh, you know, my, my younger uh, brother and my sister have been able to live that other life. And then now you live the greatest life in the suburbs, traveling to Africa. You've been to nine African countries. <laughs> Since you're from two years old now, you're, you know, son, you are so literally... <laughs> You're going to be 14 in June. We live in a middle class neighborhood. So that's a good thing. Like, look, suburbs? <coughs> suburbs? It's like two or three houses in the Gabriel neighborhood. With, you know. And, and then when you go down the street in the neighborhood, it doesn't get worse and worse, you know? It gets better and better. So you're a middle class? Son, we came from Kingston, Jamaica. Grew up in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, you have no idea living in East New York, I was. Super poor. I'm just saying that. You know what I'm saying? And now, now we're in East Flatbush where we've been. Uh, the house is here is beautiful here. And uh, you live in Georgia. You live where you have a nice... Uh, where as soon as you walk out your door, you have the bus come get you and you get dropped off I at school. You get dropped off at school 90%. You know, this boy gets dropped off at school no, 90%. No, I do not. You make me take the bus almost every day. I, well, how about from... Especially in the winter. <laughs> when it's freezing. When it was three degrees, have you walked up here in the, wind, in the cold? Son, I took... Son, I always take him to school. Uh, recently, um, we have more appointments doing technology work, more cameras, more video surveillance setup, more business operation. So when I'm out there and I got to get up early and uh, do early appointments, yes, you have to literally get up and take the bus. So I look at the cameras at the house, and if I see that it didn't come out and didn't get alert, I call him and said, you know, you need to make sure you get out. But he's been doing good making sure you get out um, and go to school. And then when he's at boxing and I'm out there, like last time I was stuck in the attic, literally running wires to wire our camera system. And, uh, you know, he, I usually text him back and forth and uh, tell him, uh, Yo, you just take, you know, you got your debit card. The boy got a bank card with money on it. Mm -hmm. Take your Uber or whatever. He have no idea how, how the life he lived. That, <laughs> Everybody has a bank card. You want me to, you, everybody is crazy. You want me to be, you tell him, to be, tell him we didn't live, in the, tell him, tell him we never had that life. Never. We you want me to from and just look at stuff like, oh man, I wish I had a credit card, I wish I had a debit card. Oh man, I wish I took cash. I think everybody needs a debit card. But you bet, thank my parents for having great work Probably ethics right to where they have empowered us. Everyone in my family, we get up every day and work. And that's why we're trying to show you Bomani Dakari. And everything that we have built as a family, you have benefit, right? Right, Shana, everything that we have built. Remember when you came on tour? Oh, yeah, it just really both, gets better and better. Y'all both came on tour. What did y'all do? Y'all make y'all took y'all y'all look after him. Y he had y'all. Yo, you had so you time. had him in your room. He was my first kid before I came. <laughs> oh my god. And I'm getting like, yeah, I'm never gonna have kids. You Got both that? You both had him in the room watching him while I was in, in, you know, at my yeah. I had a chance to breathe. Cause this child, I'm telling him, I was like, yo, uh <laughs> since you've been this of uh, young ages, it's been me and you over, you know, traveling, moving places, and I'm telling you, you're going to grow up one day and you're going to appreciate what we have done, but you have to continue the legacy of our hard work and our ethics and our foundation of, from Jamaica to here, you know, real hard working family with real ethics and about nation building, you know, not th those people who talk. So this is Bomani Dakari family in the flesh, and he is, you know, the future, and we have all the young generation of our families uh, that are future, and we're building everything we're building for them. Uh, so he's just uh, the person that's representing right now uh, because he's been in training. And uh, our expansion of Bomani technology, he's the one that's going to be doing all these wonderful things, son. We're going to have to uh, show you how to do some of these high techniques as far as uh, video surveillance, which is one of the greatest technology nowadays. I'm telling everybody, make sure you have, uh, you know, make sure you have doorbell cameras and you have cameras everywhere. And... Uh, the better you can surveillance your, your society, your neighborhoods and things like that, the less chance of many things. It's, it's a system that works. And then this is our accountant, our engineer, our mathematician, Shana. Yeah. And she's dropping great knowledge. So, you know, Bomani Tayemba, you know, and the original family name we all have, our last name is Brown, you know? Brown. And that's what it is, family. We come from Jamaica, and that's our last name. And we have changed certain aspects of Bomani Dakari here and influence us to create um, African cultural name and create and connect with us on the culture. So we're basically showing you that how it doesn't matter where you come from, you can build from generations to generations and keeping it strong. And Sean over there, a little quiet. 
And uh, you know, Damien is out on his bike on his move to Flatbush. But this is another one of our technical geniuses right here. And you know, I want to thank you know both of them for coming on the tour and watching this guy right here. You know, and, uh, <laughs> and they was able to just hang out with him and build with him to let him know that you know he has family and we believe in family because right now you know a lot of times it's just me and him in Georgia. You know, and that's how we have built it over the years to where we could just just you know, literally just you know take that situation of this. Uh, me and, me and Young money and just connect them to our family and just uh, let them see how we can just grow. So that foundation we built, we're continuing. And so that's where we had family. We're here in Brooklyn. And we're always telling you that the journey of a lifetime continues. Yes, family, so we're gonna keep it strong. Yeah. The journey continues.